from the 26 yard line. Now he's scrambling. This one's going deep to the end zone. Touchdown. He doesn't disappoint either. Great athletic ability. I've been waiting months to do this. Chandler Jones, the poster boy for the Cardinals. He doesn't even have an ability. First of all, what is going on, fellas? And welcome to the Madden 20 Dreadnoughts franchise. If you are new around here, we do a lot of NCAA 14 content. We do a lot of franchise mode, and I'm a self-proclaimed master of drafting. So if you like the idea of that and you want to stick around for more, do not forget to subscribe. If you enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like. Enough rambling. I'm excited. Let's get into it. If you do not follow me on Twitter, I have decided to go with the Cincinnati Bengals, Geno Atkins with Unstoppable Force, we got AJ Green with the Michigan State logo again. Backstory gives you an advantage of fan happiness. Pfft, who cares about the fans? All of these are kind of trash. Keep in mind, I haven't seen any information on this game. I refuse to look at any spoilers before the game actually comes out. For that reason, I'm going to rock on all pro difficulty just until I get used to the game. If you want to do one of these yourself at home, do not forget relocation settings need to be on everyone. Wait, I didn't even get to change what he looked like. That's not what Eugene looks like. He's 300 pounds. What's the deal with John Ross? He's, he's messaging me. Low talk to you later. <laughs> Madden, you guys are legends. Speaking of which, AJ and Tyler Eifert are both here. Obviously, I know AJ's coming to the end of his career. He's 31. I still want AJ Green. He's one of my favorite players. This is my favorite part of the bloody thing. Let's go. Gabe Dunbar, do you reckon he can be the next Addison Pennington? We definitely need a quarterback because I am 100% trading away. What's his name again? Andy Dalton. I'm trading him away. Andy Dalton is a dolphin. <laughs> oh, nobody wants Giovanni Bernard. This O line is so bad. I haven't even traded away any of the offensive linemen yet. We got to finesse the free agency. Our outside linebacker is 68. No disrespect. I go for the Cardinals, but come on. We're now even trasher than we were. Yeah, this, this team had a bomb dropped on it 100%. This is like, I just started ultimate team and I have no money. The funny thing is we're still winning games. We're literally two and one behind the Browns. Better not make the playoffs. So as it stands right now, we got the Redskins, Giants, Owls, Miami's, and Arizona's first round pick. That means five players have the potential to make a huge impact. Do we have any new cities at all? We got the same screen. They don't have any. Okay. This guy looks like a machine too. Late first round pick. I'm all for it. Michigan State power back. Looks like an absolute monster. We lost Giovanni Bernard. Joe Mixon is the starter. We might need a backup in there. Look at this offensive lineman out of USF. A minuses across the board. I just can't wait to see if we do draft a superstar player. What kind of X factors we're going to get. Because I'm completely unfamiliar with that whole part of this. We tied with the Cardinals. How do you tie? Man, I've been waiting for New Jersey since Madden 15. Addison Pennington played in these jerseys. They're pretty clean. You guys seem to love him. Admiral Alex likes the idea of it. This guy's a fourth rounder with A minuses, man. Looks like I got a lot of study work to do in terms of the draft this year. Jamal Hamlin has been terrorizing opposing offenses this season until he ran up against Robbie Barnes. Right, 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 right. Okay, so it doesn't look like we have any superstar cheese yet. God oh, damn it, we lost to the Browns. That was the one game I wanted to win. We're eight, four, and one though. Our quarterback is 54 overall. Oh, we got Osweiler. All oh, right, what an upgrade that that is, we're 68 overall. Keith Taylor was recognized as not just the best receiver in college football, but as the best player overall. Keith Taylor is a cornerback. He's not a receiver. I guess he's entering the draft as a cornerback. All right, we did make the playoffs on a 9-6-1 record. Why does this game do it to me, mate? Can we just lose, please? Come on. Okay, we won. 21 to 14. Now we have the 15 and 1 Browns. Okay, we lost. The Panthers and the Chargers. Definitely a weird Super Bowl to say the least. Where did the Browns go wrong? They lost in overtime to the Chargers. And then Carolina barely scraped by against New Orleans. What's even worse is how the hell did we make the divisional? Matt Ryan is your MVP followed by Tom Brady, Zeke, Baker, Drew, Aaron. I'm just trying to see Rookie of the Year. Who was it? Travion Williams. We got offensive rookie and Rodney Anderson. Wow, Andrew Sample was fifth. That's probably because we traded away all the starters and they had to start. Defensive rookie goes to Devin Bush. We had Jermaine Pratt at eight. 
NFC defensive rookie going to go to Tavai. DeAndre Baker. Okay, I'm liking the look of this. Offensive rookie, Kyler Murray. Leading those Cardinals to the postseason. Or not. So you get an achievement for relocating a franchise this year. Dalton had a bit of a breakout season over at the Dolphins. 26 touchdowns, 15 picks. Good on him. Josh Rosen gets traded to a situation where he doesn't play again. How ironic. Looking to make it splash in the free agency. We got the Dosh. We got the Moolah. Kareem Hunt is there. Kendall Fuller is there. I think I am going to get Eric Ebron purely so we can trade him away next season for a draft pick. <gasps> Yannick is there. Ooh, okay. This is somebody I really want to get. Ryan Shazier is there as well. The Redskins are offering too much, but... All right, we got Ebron and we got Yanni. That's all I really wanted, mate. I think I'm going to snag on down here and get Greg Robinson just to improve that O-line a little bit. Come on, time for the draft. Where are we picking? We have the second, third, and fifth pick. I feel like the Broncos are going to snag that cornerback. They'd be silly not to. Yeah, there he goes, Keith Taylor. First thing we have to address is quarterback. Zach McCauley, T the guy to lead this team to the promised land. We also have Mario Gutierrez, who's also out of San Diego State. This guy is first in everything other than the bench press. He's got better throw power. What is this? I'm going to take Mario, man. This is my guy right here. Let's see what overall he is. 73 play 500 downs with this play to unlock his potential stud finder what is going on okay he's got 91 throw power pretty decent accuracy good throw on the run he's got 89 excel 85 speed Woo! this quarterback is about to be cheesing so this is definitely the kyla murray archetype right here 100 percent san diego state struggled finding their identity at the quarterback position this year mario was often brought in for read option plays and plays out of the wildcat formation but san diego state went to an 11-1 record and finished 15th in the nation despite their schedule being easy both of the quarterbacks have big expectations at the next level christian peters out of nevada crazy bench press great 20 yard shuttle great three cone i think i'm gonna pull the trigger on him man he looks too good to pass up he's a 77 overall he's ranked second in true talent what are these stats looking like though 86 excel uh block shedding is garbage but he's got good finesse and he's predictable that's my kind of player. Nobody knew who Christian Peters was last year. But this year, he had a breakout season, racking up 10 and a half sacks at Nevada. A lot of scouts said that they saw flashes of JJ Watt, and others were quick to write them off, saying the competition wasn't exactly high tier. It'll be interesting to see what Christian can produce on the dreadnoughts and at the NFL level. We need a user a middle linebacker. That's the thing we're missing right now. Gabe Dunbar is the only first round middle linebacker that's any good. I don't really like the look of him. Trevor Maxwell is there, but again, I'm not really feeling it. He's got great height. I feel like Keon Weathers is definitely the user player. He is this generation's Addison Pennington. 76 overall. He's ranked fifth in true talent. In case you didn't know, the overalls have dropped down pretty significantly. I don't know if he's a star player because he keeps flexing like he's a star player. Regardless, a 76 overall is probably amongst the highest in the draft you can get, whereas last year at Madden, you could get 87 overalls, mate. Unfortunately, Auburn could not make it to the national championship this year, but the defense was a huge reason why they beat Alabama. In that game, Weathers sacked Tua two times. He only walked away with six total tackles, but his impact was definitely felt. We have Jeremy Jordan here out of USF. Looks like a pretty beastly player, to be honest. First in the bench, first in the three cone. He's the third fastest. I think we got to pull the trigger on him. I don't think he'll be a very high overall, but... Oh, hold on a second. He's so good, he's ranked zero in the class. Unfortunately, he's only a normal development. We don't get that whole potential thing. He looks like Rashad Jones out of the UFC. But hey, that's a very good pickup, man. I'll take that. Now, safety, we're good. We got a linebacker, former user. We're still going to be weak there. The Michigan State running back fell to the third. Let's see if we can trade back to the mid-second round. Rashad Bradfield or LaMarcus Dupree. We have this wide receiver as well, Cameron Pierce. He's so slow, but I know he's early third. We're picking him mid-second, but let's have a little bit of fun with him, man. 75 overall. He was ranked seventh. He can't truck or stiff arm, but that's fine. 82 juke, 94 speed, 89 XL, 89 agility. He has the aggressive catch trait. So he can use this guy as somewhat of a receiver as well. That's pretty cool. And at South Carolina, he did exactly that. He was just shy of a thousand rushing yards, but did make up for it with just over 600 receiving yards. His biggest game was actually against Clemson, where he racked up 153 receiving yards, 55 on the ground. 
and nearly led South Carolina to a win over last year's national champions. Oh my goodness. Is the sixth round completely void at this point? Shit, I'll take a fullback. First in everything. Let's go ahead and pull the trigger on him. He's a 73. In the sixth round, we get 19th ranked Peter Curry. He looks like he's ready to play some ball. He also looks like he's completely high. So we pick up a quarterback, right end, outside linebacker, left tackle. We didn't get 180, but I don't know if it's possible to get 80s, like I said. I'm not sure. Wait, we had another seventh rounder? The computer got Anthony McMillan. Oh, he doesn't get a backstory. Oh, we got the best player, Jeremy Jordan. We also got Christian Peters. Stephen Bernard was the third best. George Ringer. Keon Weathers was a 76. LaMarcus Dupree was tied for the best running back. The super interesting thing will be finding out what they're development is we could have a superstar on our hands but we're not gonna know until we play 500 downs our fullback is one of the best players in the draft Rashad Bradfield goes to the Dolphins he was a 73 the other San Diego State quarterback was a 73 as well yeah I think I like our one a lot better mate he's going to the Patriots and here is our quarterback Mario 21 years old much better throw power better accuracy and he can scramble mate I can't wait to take off and in week one, we are going to be taking on the Cleveland Browns. Last year, they went 15-1. and one. We lost to them three times. Can this 74 overall team get their revenge? Probably not, but we'll have fun doing it. So I assume the blue means we don't know how good they are yet, like their potential. I also need you guys to let me know who we should trade Eric Ebron away for. We could add a big name player to this team, somebody who could help us out. Let me know down in the comment section. Preston Brown will be moved to left outside linebacker. We got Gino on the D-line. Yannick at left end. Christian Peters will be your starting right end. We don't need Hubbard down here. He's somebody else that we could trade. We also have Dupree as the backup running back. But with that being said, fellas, that is going to wrap up episode one, the creation of the San Antonio Dreadnoughts. Remember, if you're new around here, plenty of Madden 20 to come, all franchise and the Draft King is here. NCAA 14, if you're into that, we do plenty of that as well. Can't wait to try and pick off Baker Mayfield. But if you made it this far into the video, you are the real mvp i hope the rest of your day is awesome and from me personally i'm out peace